Praise God. Amen. Give it unto God as I always do for his promises, his protection, his presence, and his provisions toward us. To that marvelous, that magnificent, that majestic, somewhat mysterious person, personality, and power who we call Jesus. I honor him because he sat in heaven with a father and had no mother, came down 42 generations to an earth that had a mother and had no father. He's a bad boy. I honor him because he allowed them to wrap him in another man's cloth, lay him in another man's manger, let him get nourished in another man's inn. Then he grew up in another man's house. He ate food at another man's table. One day he had the audacity to borrow another man's boat. Came to Jerusalem, uh, picked up another man's cross, went down the Via Della Rosa, died for another man's sin. Then he let him bury him in another man's grave. But after a weary Wednesday, a terrible Thursday, a frightening Friday, a sad Saturday, one shouting Sunday morning, he got up for another man to be born again. Touch the person next to you and say, neighbor, you that other man. You ought to give God a hand clap for praise in here. To the burden bearing, yoke destroying power of his precious Holy Ghost, the Eli, Father, Ruha, the very wind of God that we call the anointing. We give God honor this day. Sean and our friendship go back somewhat 37 years. She adopted me. I used to follow the Pay Sisters. I was friends with Murphy. I would sneak over to the church on Sunday nights for the powerhouse for the madness. And uh, yeah, I'm talking about that's the first time I saw people run, dance. All, you know, I didn't know what was going on. Uh, coming out the Baptist church, Sean adopted me as her Baptist brother and introduced me as that all over the country. I love myself some Sean. I love her labor. I love her loyalty. I love her commitment. I love her convictions. I love what she stood for. I love that she wasn't fearful. I love myself some Sean. She came over to be with me about four or five weeks ago. I said, sis, I've got about three programs. I'm going to uh, finish preaching at each of them, exit out. She said, you ain't got to tell me. I'm with you all day. She said, now, bro, I can't sing today. I don't feel well. I said, okay, well, I'm going to make sure you get comfortable. And Erin, she sit on the front row. I took my text. I began to spell, spoculating, expounding on the word of God. She stood at the edge and just said, preach, brother. I saw her getting tired. She sat on the edge of the pulpit and prayed me through. I love my son. She sung at my wedding, and I was crying so bad I thought my wife was going to change her mind. I love I wasn't just looking ugly. I was looking ugly. She had never seen me look like that before. I I love my son. My sisters and brothers, uh, I'm reminded of two stories I want to leave with you and I get out of your way. Uh, I dare not sing with all this talent in here today. I'm going to be very obedient and get out of the way. I don't think I'm ever going to sing again. I don't ever going to sing again. But I got two quick stories I want to leave your way and I'll get out of your way. One story was there was a young man that had two best friends. They were extremely dear to him, and they did everything together. Well, believe it or not, one best friend passed. The other best friend was very successful, had a business, and the business caught a fire. About a week later, they announced the homegoing service of the friend that passed, but they also announced the grand opening of the friend whose business had burnt down. He had found him another place. So what happened was he said, I can't be in both locations at the same time. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and get two exotic, extreme, uh, extremely expensive plants, greeneries. I'm going to have them deliver each one to each place, and I'll personalize the card. Everything was going well, my sisters and brothers, except the florist got the cards confused. The card that was supposed to go to the homegoing service went to the grand opening. The card that was supposed to go to the grand opening went to the home going service. So as they got to the grand opening, they read the card that had went to the wrong place. And the card said, with deepest sympathy, I am so sorry about your loss. 
But then on the other side of town at the home going service, they read the other card that had, that had arrived at the wrong place. Bishop Carlton, you're not going to believe what it said. It said, hey, congratulations on your new location. <laughs> Y'all so slow. Y'all going to get it in a minute. There's somebody here that came with me today to tell Sean congratulations on a new location. The last one here and I get out of your way. There was an old man, Arian, who I loved. There was an old man who was a millionaire. Had a son whom he loved. It was his world. And his son died. All my sisters and brothers, the man was heartbroken. And so what he did was he went and adjusted his will. The man had an extremely large mansion. He had boats. He had cars. He had money. had silver. He had gold. He had great artwork. And then... He adjusted his will, and then shortly after that, Pastor, he died. As he died, one of the stipulations in his will was, his will said that everything he had was to be auctioned off. It had to be auctioned off. And so they sent word out, sent a notice out that everything the millionaire owned was going to be auctioned off. They had everyone in town come to the big auction. Believe these words I'm about to tell you. They came to the auction. They, were, they tagged the boat. They tagged the limos. They tagged the bins. They tagged the house. They tagged the artwork. They tagged the pictures. They tagged it all. They got ready to start the auction. The auctioneer came out. He says, listen. He says, there's two stipulations. One stipulation is we have to sell this picture first. They brought a picture out. Had it covered up. It was a picture of his son. They brought the picture out. They said, we got to sell this first. They said, hey, can we get 10000 They stayed at 10000 Nobody wanted the picture. They said, can we get 9000 Nobody wanted the picture. 8000 7000 6000 Nobody wanted the picture. 5000 4000 3000 Nobody wanted the picture. Can I just get 2000 Nobody wanted the picture. Can I get 1500 Nobody wanted the picture. Can we get 1000 Nobody wanted the picture. The auctioneer said, I can't move on until I sell the picture. Can I get 9 Can I get 9 Can I get 8 Can I get 8 Can I get 7 Can I get 7 Can I get 5 Can I get 4 Can I get 4 Can I get Three, can I get three? Can I get two? Can I? They finally got down to a hundred dollars. Young man jumped up and said, I'll take the picture for a hundred dollars. The auctioneer said, Excellent. Slammed the gavel on the counter. You're not gonna believe this. Right? Slammed the gavel on the counter, turned around and walked off stage. You got a hundred people out here upset and angry because they came to buy the yacht and the house and the pictures. They said, wait a minute, wait a minute. They begin yelling and screaming. How you going to stop the auction? You ain't sold nothing. He said, I forgot to give you the second stipulation. He said, the old man said, whoever get the sun, get it all. Some of y'all slow. I meant to tell you, Sean got it all. And when she got the sun, she got a peace that surpassed all understanding. A joy the world didn't give. A doctor in a sick room. A lawyer in a courtroom. Somebody ought to give God praise because Sean got it all.